everyone, how's it going? It's Clary here and I have a really exciting uh, week for you guys. So what I'm going to be doing this week is grilling my partner's collection. Uh, so yeah, as you can see I have these two lovely Xenons. They are actually owned by my partner and um, so yeah, I was hoping to do a review of both of these figures and tell you my thoughts on them, you know, some pros and cons and yeah, maybe giving my overall score for each of them. Here we have Xenon from the GGO version of SAO and it's made by Aquamarine who unfortunately no longer exists. So if you see this figure, definitely pick her up because no more are gonna be made of her. Wow, is all I can say about this figure. I mean, look at her face. Her hair sculpt is wonderful. Her paint job is good. The details on this figure are just wonderful. Look at her gun. Like you can see the screws and all the bolts and they're all shiny. There's like matte finishes. They've just done such a great quality job with the paintwork here. I mean, it's super upsetting that Aquamarine can make quality like this and they bombast. I mean, look at the detail on her boots. They're not the most attractive boots, but they match the figure design and like they match her buckle and some of the details on her bodice. Like there's so much cohesive design and paintwork done in this and her eyes just completely draw you in. I especially love her scarf, which is obviously really iconic in the film and the TV show. And I love how it actually holds up her gun. And the little detail of like these bullets, they actually come separately and you have to put them into her fingers. And I just think it's really good. There's one negative. I'm not such a fan of her boot riser. I think it could have been done as a rock or something and maybe it would have looked a lot better. The base is also pretty plain, but it matches the figure and overall I would say it's a very cohesive, strong figure um, and I would definitely recommend if you get a chance to pick this up, definitely you will, and you're a Xenon fan, you will not be disappointed. Moving on we have Solar Scott of Xenon, uh, this is from the Alicization arc of Sword Art Online and this figure has been made by Genko who are known for doing a couple of SAO figures. But other than that, I'm not really sure what else they've done. They're not super popular at least. Again, we've got a really strong face sculpt here. I would say Sinon's a little bit tanned, uh, which you can definitely see when you compare the two, but overall her face is stunning. Her eyes really capture you. And I think they've done really well to get this level of detail into a 1 8 scale figure. Her fingers, I think are a little bit glued together. Um, but that's maybe my only criticism. I do love the colors that they picked for her outfit and I love that they put the crinkles in and the change of textures to metal work on her outfit. They've also done a really good job of the spikes on the back of her armor, which look really nice and especially the bow. Actually, the details on her hand are definitely not the strength of the figure. It was a pain in the butt to get in, but once it's in, I think it looks really good. And I love these blue beads. They really kind of add to the, and enhance the bow structure. The base is simple but elegant, and I really quite like her shoes and stockings look really cute. Overall, this is a really strong, coherent figure, and I think it works really well. But it's maybe lacking some of the details that the Aquamarine 17 figure has. This could be just down to the scale, but I also think the quality of the paintwork isn't quite as high. I did really like the details of the jewels on the back of the figure though, they did look really good. So overall two beautiful designs of Xenon, I appreciate them both for really excelling in terms of the design department and it's a really interesting aesthetic for the two figures in terms of taking her two different skins from different series and creating them into figures. I would say I slightly prefer the Aquamarine one, I'm sorry got a Xenon but the quality that Genko did with the paint job isn't quite up to the standard of Aquamarine. That's my only bugbear. I think she's maybe a little bit too orange and some of the colors look a little bit saturated at times and maybe the joint details at points of the paintwork isn't quite there. Whereas I honestly find it really difficult to find a flaw with the Aquamarine one other than the boring base. So, you know, overall I would say Aquamarine is like a solid 9 out, 9.5 out of 10, whereas I'd say, you know, Goddess Sinon is probably a 9 out of 10. If you enjoyed this review of these figures, please like and subscribe. It really does mean something. And also tell me your 
thoughts on the two figures? What do you think? Do you think I was too generous with my scoring? Do you think I was too harsh? Um, I'd really love to hear and uh, like tell me how you're finding all of my unboxings and reviews so far. If there's anything that you want me to make into a video form, I'd really love to hear because I'll definitely uh, put it in the works for the future. So yeah. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon guys and see you next week. Bye.